Let me get the chop in this fable. We in the building. DB4. Die before me gaming. Salute to the subscribers, man. Hey yo, let me know if you vibing or if you subscribing. Shout me a holler in the comment section. DBMG, what up? All my RTS people, what up? All my RPG people, what up? Oh, we gonna get it together. Let's turn up. Hogwarts Legacy. We are here for yet another glorious episode let's get it oh man yo hogwarts legacy the hype is real if you were wondering if this game is dope yes it's definitely dope if you were wondering if this game is everything is cracked up to be yes it definitely is now we only did the first few missions and we're already stoked this game is crazy it's exactly what i would have imagined when you read the books or watch the movies and they hit it on a mark we just gonna get right back into it and continue right where we left off and yo salute to the subscribers salute to everybody that's been showing support on all of the videos on the channel y'all are definitely the goats man let's get it all right all right we're back in we're back in hogwarts now on the last episode of hogwarts legacy we actually intended our first class we came over here and met the professor and he actually taught us our very first spell this is a nice guy i like this dude he's kind of quirky but you know he was a dope teacher he explained everything well and he actually put us against one of our classmates in like a sporting competition and we learned our first spell let's go first spell we learned at hogwarts we actually luminous. learned luminous prior to this but so far we got our regular spell luminous, luminous Accio, and revelio there we go we already getting our wizard kit together now this classroom is dope you can check out the last episode and get a good vision of this we actually did a bunch of stuff a bunch of exploring but in this episode, I kind of want to go straight to our next class and see what's going on there. Once we get to our next class, we'll be able to figure out the next spell we're going to get and fix our finish our kit. Let's cast a spell to learn how to get there. Oh, let's track a spell first of all. All right, let's go to our quest. We have nothing to sign, so we have to track something now. Let's track this quest. Level required one. All right, there we go. Now, actually, before we leave, if we go down the stairs, I think there was a few rooms that were locked because of our, our level last time that we probably want to hit up next time we get the chance. Yeah. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Oh wow, that was the painting talking. I didn't even know. I was like, well, what's going on? Alright, we're gonna use our guide to figure out how to get back to where we're going. Let's use the charm to show us where to go. All right, the charm is going to lead us all the way there. This place is huge. All right, we're here. The defense against the dark arts class. Travel broadens the mind. Revelio. There's another 
a few more quests we're gonna have to do. That side quest too. Where'd this kid come from? All right, let's go in class. Oh, look at these eyes. All right, let's go. Yeah. For man. Let me Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso! Let's go, let's master the spell. Alright, we're getting better at spell casting. Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Perform a basic cast then, okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This mm -hmm. time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, uh -huh. a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic card. Well done. <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Let's go our first duel. This should be easy. <laughs> You're good. Let's go. Stupefied him. I know. Let's get it. Stupefied. Let's go. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first duel. <laughs> Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Let's go. Stupefied him. <laughs> Knocked him off the table. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, 
I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Yeah, I spanked them. <laughs> if you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Protego. Yeah, my Protego skills is up to par. She was in the other class. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Crisida, I like her. She's cool. Nice work. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. This is my dude right here. He's cool. Let's talk to the other students real quick. Can we talk to everybody else? Yeah. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Oh, Sebastian's a big shot, huh? I whipped Sebastian's ass, sorry. I'd hate to face Professor Hackett in a duel. Yeah, Professor Hackett. Let's see what's out here. Levioso. Revelio. Ah, there's a locked door up here with a chest over here, huh? You can't hide from me. Level 2 lock. We can't even... Okay, we can't access locks just yet. Okay, cool. We're gonna probably need a spell specifically to unlock locks. All right, let's talk to this cat. He probably wanna talk some smack. What up, Sebastian? I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned dueling organization, huh? Sounds kind of suspicious to me. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. All right. So we could just go look for them at the clock tower's entrance, huh? Let's check the quest log real quick. New quest. Cross wands round one. Okay. Oh wait, we gotta locate it on the map real quick. Oh, Weasley's after class. We might want to do that first. This is a side mission. Where is this located? Okay, not too far from where we are now. I want to go do that dueling side mission real quick. I actually want to see what that's about. Oh, it's at a place we didn't go to yet. Okay, but we can we can travel to here. All right, we actually made it back to our common room. Let's head to Luca and Battery. I'm, I accidentally selected the wrong one, but it, it's still closest to where we got to go. All right, let's go get Lucas and Batterby. 
All right, we over here, over here by Lucan. Let's go through the door. I'm glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. All right, we unlocked the clock tower thing. All right. So we came to the unsanctioned place. Let's see what these guys are talking about. Can I help you? Level one lock. Can I help you? All right, what up, Lucan? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Mm-hmm. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Mm-hmm. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Let's go. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. All right, let's go. Break through yellow skills with control spells like Leviosa. Target lock unless you try to... Okay. Get him. Come on. Get him. You're better than that. Got him with another Levioso, baby. Stupefied at him. Oh, almost he almost cracked me too. Some big hit that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Haha, <laughs> let's go. Revelio. I'm actually level three now. Perfect. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Flu powder. Oh, we might want to flu to somewhere else too. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. All right. Let's track a quest. Let's go meet the Weasleys. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. Ha, <laughs> talking smack, huh? I feel sorry for your next opponent. So do I. Alright, let's head to Mrs. Weasley. All right, we ended up in a transfiguration courtyard headed out on our way to Mrs. Weasley. Pretty dope. We got another flu flame. All right, our next class is Professor Weasley at Transfiguration. 
Let's go. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. The Ollivanders, just like in Diagon Alley, where Harry got his phoenix feather wand from. Dope. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. All right, let's roll with Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ha <laughs> ha. Report to Professor Ronan. All right. She's your first assignment. Simon of Tyson Quest gives you by Hogwarts professors that be that when complete or reward you with a new spell. A mending charm. Reparo. Alright, so we definitely want to do that. Reparo! That's the spell the guy used when we first. When we were coming across that bridge. It looked like an advanced spell itself, so. Alright, here's ah, the professor. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. 
It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, what is a new task? Rebellion. Right, we're going to go straight to the task, too. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Oh, I just saw a flying page, actually. Oh, I see it. Akio. I might, I might have to Akio it. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. Got a class Akio. That makes sense. The flying page must be around here somewhere. Where is this flying page? There it is. Akio. Bring it. We did it, Professor. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. All right, let's go, Reparo. Let's. Oh, we hit the wrong one. We hit the wrong one. Let's go. All right, we got it. We got it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay. New assignment. Is that where we gotta go next? Oh, wait. Let's go try doing what he said. Yeah, let's prepare this to hit thing here. Repairer. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> hey. We learned our fourth spell. Repairer. Really, our fifth spell. Sixth, if you include the charm. We got four spells that we can activate. Then we have the charm Rebellion. and Revelio. What's the next thing? Oh, the Hogsmeade joint. All right, let's look at our inventory. Let's look at our gear real quick. Yeah, we got some stuff we can put on our heads. Gives us some more offense. Absolutely. We got some glasses. We'll wear them for now. 
you got some headwear oh really the little wizard's cap or the kago <laughs> i want to wear the wizard's hat but i don't think i want to have it show it though let me see can i make it so it doesn't show i might have to switch that up i might have to switch that up neckwear nah we don't need neckwear what else we have oh robes you probably got some interesting robes no we really don't okay cool prefix outfit okay great um badges collectibles challenges wand hand we don't even have a wand I will right, rock the hat for now we'll <laughs> we'll rock the hat for now oh we only found the one field page okay good Now we got the dummy, the, the dumb looking wizard hat. Near the entrance to Hogwarts. So we got to go to the very entrance of Hogwarts. Huh. We gotta go to the entrance of Hogwarts and make the trip to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Look at the statues, they, they, they're sitting there fighting. <laughs> Yo, that's dope. I like how all the statues and all the paintings move. That is so amazing. Okay, we got that guy near the beginning of hogwarts so we have to make our way over to hogsmeade so we're gonna whoa what was that a ghost look at the ghost oh a page hold on akio, akio. got it we got it field guide page so that's what we're supposed to do with the pages we see just fluttering about Rebellion. ah now i completely get it okay okay we're supposed to be snatching those pages up that makes a lot of sense. Why are there so many ghosts over here? I want to actually go get this. Uh... Yeah, we got the bell tower thing. Level one locked. How nice to see you. Hello, looking for me? I am looking for you, but one second. There's a lot of. There's something. What was that? Ah, we got it. Yeah, goblin artifact. Oh, we getting XP for this stuff, too. And there's a chest over here. Down. We're not going to go too crazy. I just wanted to do a little bit of exploration real quick before we even start this next mission. Just to see if there's some more pages fluttering about for that quick XP. So now we know. If we ever see them pages just fluttering about, we probably... Oh, the dungeons. The dungeons. Rebellion. Oh, okay. How do you get over there? I don't want to be in the dungeons. We're not going to stay in the dungeons. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. Beat it, kid. Oh, that is super dope. Uh, I could I could explore this entire school all day long. We found another one. Bombarda. <laughs> A successful casting of Bombarda. Look at the wizard hat to the left. <laughs> Scorched image. Yo, that's hilarious. Revelio. Ah. Okay. There's something up here. We finally we found the chest. Let's go. Oh, a luxurious cloak. We can't do nothing to these just yet. So exploration is not well, exploration is never useless in in our in a good RPG. 
we look we don't we don't already got lost we said we wasn't going to do this and look we already on the other side of the the darn game all right here we go we're back at the lobby Whew, i thought we got lost for a second i was about to say oh man i didn't want to really get lost but yeah here we go that was real interesting that was super dope now we're going to make our way to oh wait i just saw it i just saw it revelio baby Oh, so most of these little things are something we can use Revelio on. Okay, cool. Now I understand. Look, we got a whole level out of that. That is insane. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Look at that. Sheepskin winter hat. We're just getting a whole bunch of dope stuff. Something else just chimed. I don't know what it was, though. S sometimes the charms seem like they're omnidirectional. Like, you can you can hear it in your headphones, like, which direction the charms came from. Sometimes, not all the time. Yeah, but like I was mentioning, we're going to actually make our way to Hogsmeade in the next episode of Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. That was dope, man. This game is super duper amazing, man. Yeah, dope stuff. Good stuff. All right, all right. We're going to end the video here. If you're interested in playing this game, we got some information in the description box below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.